Alright, welcome back. And there, uh, got some more AVP type predators here. Uh, start with this one. This is to go with the uh, the scar and the Celtic. This is my re-sculpted scar head. This is one of the. Th I think this is the very first thing I sculpted. Uh, super sculpt me. Put this thing in the oven. The whole body went limp and nearly burnt it a few times. But um, yeah, you live and learn. Hair dryers work just as well. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not perfect. So it was my first attempt at sculpting. Kind of pretty decent, I reckon. Changed out the skulls because my ones were a bit rubbish. Ones I uh, sculpted. And uh, I will be selling this and uh, my Celtic and Scar with the skull walls and. Uh, if you see back in one of my other videos the uh, alien pillar from AVP which was not released by McFarlane and save the best to last I've got here let's see if I move that now, probably uh, tip over I've got a bit of a mishmash predator it's a predator 2 figure as you can see the armour Changed out for the Predator 1 armor, the shoulder cannon, and the breastplate there. And that shoulder pad's from an AVP figure. And I just repainted all the armor in like uh, copper and browns and black washes, too. You know, a bit more screen accurate, more authentic. At the end of Predator 2, there was a few different looking predators. So, there's one for the clan. Pretty happy how that's turned out. Oh, that looks good. Camera's not probably picking up the uh, metallic paint on it. It's like a copper metallic. I did dull it down quite a bit because it was very bright. I repainted everything, even the bio. Yeah, the lighting is not great. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of some of these figures because my collection is so overwhelming at the moment. Inspired by the, uh, I don't know what you call it, Moss, uh, Hot Toys have just released a Ancient Predator looks very similar to this. Obviously, you've got the Celtic bio there, which is uh, what I prefer out of all the different bios. It's got a cool look to it. Uh, yeah, I found some random piece there, so I just attached shoulder cannon there from that's AVP. Wolf, I think, and it does extend all the way down. It hasn't got any movement left and right, but it's got up and down movement. Some range of mobility there. And this whole thing pivots on the screw attached to the backpack there. I won't change it out right now, but you can have it so it's all the way down so we can uh, have a quick little. Craft a little uh, back shot if anybody's creeping up behind him. The base is from a NECA Terminator figure. And I thought it was quite appropriate, looks quite good. This is kind of my cross between the uh, Ancient Predator and uh, the Celtic from AVP. And you see there he's got the The grid warrior head, so that's the way I reckon it should have played out in the film. Because predators are badass. You got pretty 
much uh, owned by the uh, Grid Alien, which was a shame, because uh, I say he's my favourite out of all the uh, Predators, the look wise, he's got the best look, best, best bio, and uh, just added some moss there on the top and the bottom, just to simulate innards, blood and guts, green paint, a bit of gloss varnish, a bit down there and he touching up. And uh, yeah, just the gauntlet, I switched it round the other way, it has a different look to it. I do like what they, uh, what they did with these predators, give them a bulkier look. on his leg. Yeah. I could add some wrist blades but I think that'd be too much. I think he's well tooled up. He's got a spear, gauntlets, dagger. Probably doesn't really need the shoulder cannon but there. He's got his trophy. He's earned his right to be part of the clan. That's a cool figure. So yeah, I just finished it and I'll be sticking it on eBay. Get some money back because I've got some bills to pay. And too many of these little things. They are great. They are my first love when it comes to uh, collecting. I probably will still make some more of these because they are quite enjoyable to do. Cheap, fun, and you can get a lot more for your money. A lot better poses because uh, I was watching Clippers uh, review on the Ancient. Not that I've got any Hot Toys, Predators or likely to get any but he was saying that basically you lose a lot of the articulation for you know for the armour and I think well you know I mean you can't beat these for articulation and posing they are pretty damn cool so that's it just a quick little wear uh, trio there so I will be selling these skull walls with the alien pillar and the three main uh, well, three predators from AVP. And this one will be sold separately. So I'm sure there's people still collecting these because they are great figures. I've sold quite a lot in the past. Little custom projects. So I'll probably do some more. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, share. <laughs> and maybe I can buy a new camera.